Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve rational inequalities. For example, number one, we have x plus two over x minus three greater than or equal to zero. So as you can see, the inequality symbol is greater than or equal. That means to say, if you're going to simplify this expression, the result must be positive because all positive numbers are greater than zero. Now, what is the first step that we're going to do in order to solve these rational inequalities? The first step is we're going to equate numerator and denominator in terms of zero. So that is x plus 2 equals zero. And then x minus 3 equals zero. To simplify, x equals negative 2 and x is positive 3. The next step is we're going to draw a number line. We're going to have a vertical line test. So we're going to plot negative 2 and this is positive 3 and this is positive infinity and this is negative infinity. Next is we're going to check whether negative 2 and 3 is part of the solution. First, if you're going to substitute 3 on the denominator, we're going to have 0 on the denominator. That means we have an undefined. Meaning to say, 3 is not part of the solution. Therefore, we're going to have an open, open circle because 3 is not part of the solution. Next, we're going to have negative 2. If you substitute negative 2, we're going to have negative 2 plus 2 over negative 2 minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. If you're going to simplify this one, that is 0 over negative 5 greater than or equal to 0. That means 0 greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, it is true. We're going to have here closed circle because negative 2 is part of our solution. Next, we're going to test each region whether it is they are part of the solution or not. Always remember, the value of this expression must be positive because of this inequality symbol. Positive greater than or equal to 0. Now, let's try numbers greater than 3. Let's say 4. 4 plus 2 is positive. Divide by 4 minus 3 is also positive. So positive divided by positive is positive. So therefore, this is positive. Next, we're going to have numbers between negative 2 and 3. So let's say 0. 0 plus 2 is positive. Divide by 0 minus 3. That is negative or negative so we have positive divided by negative is negative. So therefore, this region is negative. And then, numbers less than negative 2. Let's say negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative. Divide by negative 3 minus 3 is also negative. Therefore, negative divided by negative is positive. That means this region... And this region is part of the solution. Now, how can we write interval notation using this graph? First, we're going to have negative infinity up to negative 2 bracket. So we use bracket because of closed circle. Union 2, 3. So we're going to have open parenthesis because of open circle up to positive infinity. So this will be our answer. But how do we write this one in inequality symbol? First, we're going to have x. So we always remember we have um, a closed circle. Therefore, the direction is to the left. We're going to have less than or equal to because of closed circle. x less than or equal to negative 2 or x, the direction is to the right, 
we're going to have greater than we're not going to have equal to because of open circle 3 so this will be our answer on example number 2 we have x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 5 all over x minus 2 less than 0 so as you can see the inequality symbol is less than so meaning to say if you simplify this expression the result must be negative because all negative numbers are, are less than zero so we can write as negative less than zero so our goal is to make a negative expression now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to equate each binomial in terms of zero so we have here x plus one equals zero then x minus 5 equals 0. Then x minus 2 equals 0. To simplify, you have x equals negative 1. x equals 5. x equals 2. After that, we're going to draw a number line. Then we're going this is positive infinity, negative infinity. Let's plot negative 1, 2, and 5. Next, let us check negative 1, 2, and 5 in our equation. So we have here negative 1. If you substitute negative 1, we're going to have here 0. To simplify, 0 less than 0. That is false because 0 is equal to 0. Meaning to say, negative 1 is not belong to the solution. So we're going to have an open circle. Next, positive 2. If you substitute positive 2, we're going to have 0 on the denominator. And we have an undefined. So undefined, greater, less than 0, is false. Therefore, negative 2 is also an open circle because positive 2 is not belong to the solution. And then 5. If you substitute 5, we're going to have 0 again. Therefore, 5 is not belong to the solution. We're going to have an open circle. Next, we're going to check each region which among this region is negative. So first, numbers greater than 5, let's say 6. 6 plus 1 is positive. 6 minus 5 is also positive. 6 minus 2 is positive. Therefore, positive times positive is positive. Divide by positive is also positive. Next, numbers between 2 and 5, let's say 3. 3 plus 1 is positive. 3 minus 5 is negative. 3 minus 2 is positive. Therefore, positive multiplied by negative is negative. Divide by positive is negative. So this region is positive and this is negative. Next, numbers between negative 1 and 2, let's say 0. 0 minus 1 or 0 plus 1 is positive. Then 0 minus 5 is negative. And then 0 minus 2 is also negative. Positive multiplied by negative is negative. Negative divided by negative is positive. So this region is positive. Next, all numbers less than negative 1, let's say negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative. Negative 2 minus 5 is also negative. Negative 2 minus 2 is also negative. Negative times plus negative is positive. Positive multiplied by negative. Negative times negative is positive. Positive divided by negative is also negative. So meaning to say, the numbers between 2 and 5 is part of the solution. And also, all numbers less than negative 1 is also part of the solution. But how do we write this one in interval notation? First, we're going to have open parenthesis, negative infinity up to negative 1, close parenthesis because of open circle, union 2, 2, and 5. So this will be our answer. Now, how do we write in inequality symbol? First, we're going to have x, the direction of negative 1 is to the left, we have less than negative 1. And then the direction of 2 is to the right, x greater than 2. And then the direction of 5 is to the left, less than 5. If you simplify x less than negative 1 
or x greater than 2 less than 5 so this will be our answer on my last example we have 2x minus 5 all over x minus 5 less than or equal to 3 now as you can see this is not equal to 0 we're going to have 3 so the first step that we're going to do is we're going to move 3 to the side of 2x minus 5 all over x minus 5 therefore we're going to have 2x minus 5 over x minus 5 minus 3 less than or equal to 0 and then we're going to simplify this expression we're going to have 2x minus 5 minus 3 we multiply negative 3 to the denominator that is x minus 5 over x minus 5 less than or equal to 0. Next step is we're going to simplify. We're going to use distributive property. We have 2x minus 5 negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 5 is negative or positive 15 rather over x minus 5 less than or equal to 0. Next, we're going to combine like terms. 2x minus 3x is negative 1x. Negative 5 plus 15, that is positive 10, over x minus 5 less than or equal to 0. So the next step is we're going to express the numerator and denominator in terms of 0. We're going to have negative 1x or negative x plus 10 equal to 0. Then x minus 5 equal to 0. And then we're going to move negative 1x to make it positive. Or you can move negative 10 then divide by negative 1. So in this case, we're going to have x equals 10. And then x equals 5. So after that, we're going to draw a number line. So this is positive infinity. This is negative infinity. We're going to plot 5 and 10. Now, let us check whether 5 and 10 is part of our solution. Now, if you substitute 5 on the denominator, we're going to have undefined, or we're going to have 0 as the denominator. Therefore, we have undefined. That means 5 does not belong to the solution. Then, if you substitute 10, we have 2 multiplied by 10 is 20, minus 5. Then, 10 minus 5 is 5, less than or equal to 3. Simplify, we're going to have 15 over 3, less than or equal to 3. Next, 15 over 3 is 5 is 15 over 5 is 3, less than or equal to 3. Therefore, 10 is a closed circle because 10 is true. 10 is belong to the solution. Next, let us check each region among the three region is true. So we're going to have here number greater than 10, let's say 11. 2x or 2 multiplied by 11 is 22 minus 5 over 11 minus 5 is 6 less than or equal to 3 22 minus 5 is 17 over 6 less than or equal to 3 therefore 17 over 6 is less than 3 therefore it is true therefore this part is part of the solution next numbers between 5 and 10 let's say for example we use 6 2 multiplied by 6 is 12 minus 5 over 6 minus 5 is 1 less than or equal to 3 12 minus 5 is 7 over 1 less than or equal to 3 therefore false meaning to say the numbers between 5 and 10 is not belong to the solution next numbers less than 5 let's say 0 2 multiplied by 
0 is 0. So we're going to have here negative 5 over negative 5 less than or equal to 3. So negative 5 divided by negative 5 is 1 less than or equal to 3. Therefore, true. Meaning to say this part of the graph is true. This belong, this belong to the solution. Now, how do we write this one using interval notation? So we're going to have open parenthesis, negative infinity, after 5, close parenthesis, union, bracket, 10, up to positive infinity. So we use close parenthesis because of open circle, and we use bracket because of closed circle. Now, how do we write this one using inequality? So x, the direction is to the left. We're going to have less than 5. Or x, we have closed circle. We're going to have an equal to. And then the direction is to the right. Greater than or equal to 10. So this will be our answer.